Looking to grow on Twitch? Well, you've come to the right place because you're going to get some awesome advice from other streamers on the platform that are going to help you to get discovered and grow. Now, just a quick note, this is a two-part video. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will put it in the top of the card up there or look in the show notes below. But if you've never seen this channel before, my name is Wild and I'm here to help you grow and make a bigger impact online on your streaming career and content creation. If you'd like to learn more about me, make sure you check out the past videos. But let's roll right into the video on how these streamers are going to help you with awesome tips. Let's go. Llama Smuggler is coming in strong with a tip that I use every day before I go live on Twitch. And the tip is take 30 minutes before you plan on start streaming and see what are the most oversaturated games or see what games have an uptick or a downtick in the category to help refine what you will be streaming for that day. If something has a strong downtick that normally is a popular game, this could be your moment to shine within that category. If something that's normally low has a huge uptick, it's probably not worth getting noticed in there unless like one particular person is really creating an influx in there. But always take a look at where things are at on the ranking list when you click browse on Twitch. And this can help refine down how you will be discovered on the platform. So Lam and I are on the same page for this one for sure. Our next tip comes in from LRAC Gaming, who lets us know that we need to be unique and find our niche out there so that way we can stand out on the platform. You should really stay away from mimicking and copying other streamers. What works for them may not work for you, but you know what will work for you? You being genuine and you finding what works with you in your creativity and your talents and broadcasting it out there and you will start to find a market and an audience. You have to find something that's going to separate you out from all the other people that are in the same category as you. So find what you're good at, find what your talents are, focus around that, and boom, you can find your market and audience and start to build your community. Next tip comes in from Cash Prey T, who comes in with a tip that probably doesn't get stated enough and a lot of people aren't going to agree with, but I do. There's no point in streaming for long periods of times if there's no engagement and there's no viewership. I totally, totally agree with this. There are times when I play and I'm not, I'm not having much of a fun time because I'm not having much of an engagement. I just, I, I essentially put that as a wash, you know? Just, hey, today wasn't my day to be at the top of my game and people couldn't show up. It's okay, it does happen. You have off days. You know what's gonna be best? Probably taking that time off and you can still be on Twitch, just be a part of other communities. Just because you're not streaming doesn't mean you're not gonna grow. You can do a lot of growing off of your own off of your own live streaming channel. You can go into other communities and start building. You can play with other people, help them create a bigger and better stream. There's a lot of things you can do, but don't be afraid if you're not having fun, if you're not having engagement and it feels like it is just weighing down on you, don't be afraid to, you know, click that off stream button. Storm Dust 10 comes in with a great comment that we all should take notice of because you know, it's actually plagued my stream sometimes and i know it's affected a lot of bigger streamers out there as well and the tip is don't miss too many streams in a row if you stream monday tuesday and friday and you miss all three of that week and then the next week you miss two out of three and then the week after that you miss three out of three you're sending a strong signal to you and your community that you're really kind of over it and you're not caring now i know life happens to people you have boyfriends you have girlfriends you have family you have kids you have jobs there's all these things that can come into play which is why you should always keep your community up to date if you are going to be gone for long extended periods of time but there's something that's super important here that a lot of people don't talk about. In fact, I don't see a lot of streamers ever talk about this. If you take too many consistent days off from your streaming schedule, it's really, really, really easy not to come back and stream. You kind of just see it more as a chore. You don't see it as something that you're excited to come back to because there's all these other competing elements that are in your life that'll be drawing your attention away. And if you start missing way too many, those things are gonna start pulling your attention. So try your best to create a schedule and stick to it. And if you can't, keep your community informed. 
Our next tip is from a streamer who wrote a really, really long comment that was super awesome that I can refine down into one sentence. And it comes from Alston. So Alston, thank you very much. And essentially his tip is gratitude. Make sure you are thankful for the people that show up, the people that subscribe, the people that follow, the people that give bits, and the people that give their time. And I am always astonished of how many people are not thankful for what they have built on this platform and kind of shrug it off. And I don't know if it's arrogance or I don't know if they just kind of don't care or it's just to be expected of their channel that they should get, you know, bits, donations and cheers. But I love the fact that people give me their hard earned time and money at times. And I am super happy when I get it. I always say thank you. I let people know what it's going to. Even if I can't thank them right at the moment because I'm in the middle of a game or I'm doing something or I'm in the middle of a sentence and I don't want to lose my thought of concentration, I always go back. And if there's one tip I can get, if you use an alert service like Stream Elements, Stream Labs, Muxy, Player.me, there's a ton out there. They all have recent events, markers, pages, calendars up there that'll let you know when something gets fetched or triggered. And you can then look at that list if you were distracted by something in game or perhaps you were AFK going to the bathroom or getting water. You can come back and go down that list and thank everyone. Trust me, take a moment of your time to thank the people that are help supporting you and your channel grow. A thank you goes a long way and flash a nice smile because trust me, it'll help you continue to grow and you're basically letting people know how much you appreciate their time and their efforts in your community. Our next tip actually comes from two streamers who essentially wrote the same exact thing, which is kind of awesome to see how streamers think alike. And it comes from Jack Runner and Cassie Draws, who both wrote mental health should come first. If you're having a rough day and you're not feeling it and nothing's going your way and you don't have good vibes, it's okay to not stream. Take a day off. In fact, you may wanna take a few days off if you're not feeling good about yourself. Mental health is a strong situation that needs to be addressed. And you as the streamer comes first. So make sure you take time yourself to de-stress, decompress, and recharge your batteries because I want you to come back and have strong streams. I want you to be in this for the long game. So think about your mental health and don't be afraid to step away for a little bit of time because you matter most. And our last tip and perhaps our best tip that we have on the list comes from Murray Koo Buns who wrote, you should all watch Wild for Games informative videos on how to grow and be bigger and better on all live streaming platforms. And I agree with you. I think you should watch my videos and I don't want to humble brag, but I'm going to. I try to create the best content that I can. I may not be right in all aspects and I may not say things that can help all of you out there. You have to do a little bit of the legwork, but don't just watch me if I can give a tip. There are a lot of great YouTube and Twitch people out there and you know that want to help you grow and be bigger and better. So don't be afraid to branch out. You know, on the side of this video player, you're going to see suggested videos that are going to be a lot of people that are tied to my videos that give awesome advice, awesome tips. And you know, you should check a few of them out. I hope I pointed the right way. It's hard when things are flip, but that would be one of my tips that I can give to everyone out there. And if you guys like this type of information and you wanna see more tips from other streamers to you to help you grow, do me a favor, leave me a comment below and I will see what I can do to make another video like this. And thank you guys so much all for submitting and taking the time to read. I will put the entire list of Twitch tips that was submitted to me on my YouTube uh, blog community page. If you wanna know how to get to that, you first have to subscribe to the channel and then you can go over to the community section. You can read it there, but I'll put links in the show notes below. And while you're there, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you see here, you're definitely gonna like what you see on over at twitch.tv slash wildforgames where you can hit that follow button and even hit that almighty subscribe button. I know this is a long video. Thank you for watching. I hope it really helped. Thank you again for everybody that submitted and we'll see if we can do this again in a future video. So take care all and peace.